Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about rotational viscometer test. Rotational viscometer test, which is often written as RV test, is used to determine the viscosity of S4 binders in the high temperature range of manufacturing and construction. This test can be conducted at various temperatures, but since manufacturing and construction temperatures are fairly similar regardless of the environment. So this test for S4 binder is always conducted at 275 degree Fahrenheit. The goal is to determine the viscosity of S4 binder at this high construction temperature in order to ensure that the binder has sufficient pumpability, mixability, and workability. In other words, we want to use this test to help us ensure that the S4 binder is sufficiently fluid for pumping and mixing. It's important to have sufficient uh, pumpability, mixability, and workability. The pumpability is the ability of the S4 binder to be pumped between storage facilities or uh, to be pumped into the uh, hot mix S4 manufacturing plant. Mixability is the ability of the binder to be properly uh, mixed uh, with aggregates or other uh, hot mix S4 components in the manufacturing plant. Workability is the ability of the hot mix asphalt to be placed and compact with reasonable effort. This test uh, consists of a rotational viscometer and a temperature a controller and also a environmental chamber. And this test is performed only on unaged binders. So the samples do not need to go through uh, either the short-term aging or the long-term aging process. The sample is first uh, placed into the um, sample chamber and then both the sample and the sample chamber is placed into the uh, environmental chamber, and then the spindle um, is placed in the S4 binder and is rotating at a specified speed. The viscosity is determined by the amount of torque required to rotate the spindle at this specified speed. The process of this um, procedure is described in ASTM D442 and Ashto T316. In fact, um, rotational viscometer test uh, is quite a common test in chemical and food industries for measuring the viscosity of non-Newtonian fluid. In this YouTube video, um, you can see the detailed experimental procedure to um, uh, using to use a rotational uh, viscometer to measure the viscosity of milk. We first pour appropriate amount of S4 binder into the sample chamber and then uh, insert the sample chamber into the environmental chamber and then carefully lower the spindle into the S4 binder. The viscometer uh, will measure the torque required to maintain a constant rotational speed of the spindle, um, which is 20 rotation per minute when the spindle is submerged in the asphalt binder at 275 degree Fahrenheit. This torque is then converted to a viscosity value, and this value uh, will be displayed automatically by the viscometer.